Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Have you heard of this game? How many times can I use that joke? The answer is equivalent to the number of episodes we're ever going to do of the series. Challenge number 12. We haven't unlocked 11. I know how. I'm going to spoil it for you right here. It's not that big of a surprise, but... You need to be challenge 19, which is Family Man. Then that unlocks an item that you use in challenge 11. Anyway, this is Lemons. I'm just going to write Lemons. Because otherwise, uh, it'll take me 50 years to do it. And 07Z3. 07Z3. BNFQ. Got it. We start with Lemon Mishap. 9 volts. Nun's Habit and a Lemon Party Pill. This is pretty much what I predicted. And to be honest with you, I mean, we can like fire our tears, which is kind of a... <laughs> It, like, this challenge, as of right now, seems like a welcome break from kind of all of the uh, extraordinarily difficult ones we've been having uh, recently. So I'm thinking, you know, 9 volt plus nuns habit means we should be able to use uh, lemon mishap on every single room. Once. And I'm kind of struggling to see where the problem lies in this run because I'm realizing, I think pretty darn quickly here, that... This is just going to be like your average run, except we're not going to have item rooms. So I think it, this one might just be one that's kind of like thematically cool. I know we didn't blow up one of those pots. I was trying to find a secret room. Should have done the equivalent on the other side, but um, we'll put another bomb down here. Um, it, it strikes me as a challenge that might not actually be altogether that difficult, which is kind of exciting for me. Who knows? Maybe we actually do even have item rooms. I don't think we do. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we actually got Widow to land on the Lemon Mishap. Lemon Mishap is a little bit better. In uh, in Rebirth, compared to what it was like in Vanilla. Uh, I think it's got a shorter charge time. I don't know if it does any more damage or if it like sticks around longer or something like that, but uh, relatively simple. And this Lemon Party pill is huge. It would be cool if this challenge actually had it so like every pill that you picked up was Lemon Party, but I can neither confirm nor deny that that is indeed the case. So that extra Spirit Heart is good. This is shaping up to just be like an average run without item rooms, which is actually like completely doable. Oh, do we also have Curse of the Unknown on every floor, or Curse of the Blind on every floor? Magic Scab is actually a pretty good item. We'll do some exploration here. I'm, I'm, a, I've been having a good time on these challenges. I, uh, it, I'm always thrown off a little bit, you know. Well, we don't really need that, but I'm always uh, thrown off my game a little bit because I got a set kind of commentary routine. I'm not surprised that we didn't get anything there. I'm a little surprised that we didn't get anything there, though. Uh, I've got kind of a said uh, commentary routine, right? Like, I know what to talk about. Hey, here's what we need, blah, blah, blah. Somebody left a comment on one of Kate's uh, Isaac episodes that's like, Hey, Kate, you're doing pretty good, but you got to remember to, you know, completely sandbag and never let anybody think you're confident about your run until the very end when you already have all the most powerful items in the game. And I'm like, first off, fuck you. I'm going to lower my microphone volume here slightly, by the way. Um... My apologies for that, I forgot I was actually on Kate's stream the other day, and I cranked my mic volume up a little bit to help with audio balance issues. Anyway, um, but then there is some truth to that, you know, I have kind of like a, a flow chart that I mentally kind of refer to for commentary, I think. Not like consciously, but just, uh, this is an annoying room. Uh, ooh, Kate, yeah, not, not consciously, but just sort of, you know, like as I play, I'm like, what do I need, what do I have, yada, yada, yada. And in the challenges, you know, it, you don't really know what's going on, which is great because it throws you off, but it's kind of, you know, sometimes it throws you off. Like I just said, there's a tinted rock up there in the top right corner. Hopefully we'll be able to get to that at some point. Uh, it's possible that this champion here might actually be uh, just a bomb. Like, um, no, he exploded into a key instead of exploding into an explosion. But hey, that's all right as well. If we can get another bomb, I would uh, very much desire to go in there. But yeah, it, like if I'm... Being honest here, this seems like a challenge that's very, very doable. I mean, we basically, if, if I look at this the same way you look at something like a Cat's Got Your Tongue challenge, like, we're actually able to fire our tears, which, to me, that was not a very good use of, uh, of Lemon Mishap, by the way. To me, makes this seem kind of like a no-brainer, because unless we, like, truly throw to a, an incomprehensible level against Dingle here, um, we should basically not be at risk of not getting a deal with the devil. And if we're gonna get a deal with the devil, well then we can pick, it up, pick up an item that makes our tears strong enough. That was so bad. I dodged right into that guy. Um, but with Nun's Habit, we can actually use Lemon Mishap effectively and that'll finish it up. And yes, indeed, uh, deal with the devil. And then our deal with the devil, if it's just good, allows us to kind of ignore the problems with this challenge. Speaking of Cat's Got Your Tongue, I'm gonna take Guppy's Hairball. Why? 
Because I get a little too cocky on these runs, and this is a symptom of that, but first off, it is a guppy item. Secondly, I'm like, well, you know what, we're probably not going to end up uh, going down to the chest in the cathedral anyway, so not being 100% perfect with my min-maxing will probably be totally acceptable. I, I don't think this is a terrible decision. I mean, Guppy's Hairball, you know, no love lost for that item, even though I did patent this amazing, uh, you know, counterclockwise movement here. I would rather just use tears for the most part. Seriously, though, dog, get over here. Thank you. Um, what am I trying to do there? Well, we'll definitely try this situation out. We might be able to find a secret room here. In fact, I would be surprised if this were not the secret room. It is not the secret room. This is my surprise face. Is that Tommy Lee Jones? What is wrong with me? We actually picked up an eternal heart there that I didn't even notice. Uh, so maybe not being able to find the secret... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't really know how to deal with this room effectively, I'll be honest with you. Um, but Oh, that's actually really nice. Maybe not being able to find the secret room in that past area was kind of a good thing. Because we might be able to find it, like, right here. Uh, gain access to the boss trap room and then be in a good position moving forward. We also have a new pill. That's not our secret room? Tears upgrade is great. I'm very surprised, though. Uh, I guess we will just try to go, then. I, that's like the worst situation right there, but if we just sneak through here, we should be fine. I don't know where to look for our secret room, so I'm not gonna look for our secret room. We're in a staggering good, staggeringly... Oh, there's a tinted rock way back up here. Ah, uh, whatever, we'll save our bomb. I'm sure there'll be more tinted rocks. Um, we're in a staggeringly good position right now if we only have to beat Mom. If we have to beat Mom's heart, I'd say we're, um, you know, starting things off on the right foot here. If we have to beat Isaac, we're gonna need a little bit more. And if we have to go even further than that, well, that'll be interesting. So I love Stompy as far as uh, items go. You gotta be a little careful with it, but uh, it should give me a pretty good chance of getting a black market on this run. And I love being able to get black markets, especially when we're, you know, stupid lucky enough to end up getting, uh, a ton of eternal hearts, which has worked out fairly well for us thus far. I also, I swear to you, and this might be bullshit, you know, this is like some dogs can't look up shit, but I swear to you that one time I stomped open a secret room. Now that I think about it, what happened is I probably stomped on one of those bomb rocks that was near the secret room and it exploded and, and opened up the secret room for me, but I swear to you, it has happened before. Please be dead though. Thank you. We should be uh, totally fine. Stompy is actually a pretty good item in almost any context, I think, as long as you're paying attention. Now we don't need to use bombs to get Tinted Rocks. See, Lemon Mishap actually does a really nice amount of damage if you can actually convince enemies to walk into it, which is why, you know, we're probably better off using it against, well, not better off, but we're probably going to get the best efficacy for it against, like, Monstro enemies along those lines that, like, teleport towards you, Mega Fatty, etc., etc., I do wish that maybe we could get like a trickle charge or something like that and be able to use it more than once per room because, you know, like once per room is okay. I don't even think it works on these guys. Nah, it doesn't. Oh, crap. Yeah, like once per room is okay, but, uh, you know, not anything necessarily to write home about. Especially when we're dealing with like later game bosses, but uh, in these early game bosses, it's done, a, it's done a good job. Please, pop up. I want to test my lemon mishap skill. Wow. So far, so good. Come here, please. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy lemon mishap. Easy Garshasp lemon mi- doesn't really rhyme. And I just caused you to remember Garshasp the Monster Slayer. I did not even see that there was a Tinted Rock there. Now that we've got a little extra HP, I'm not gonna be as concerned about maybe uh, stepping on these mushrooms, because they do explode. I like that Guppy's hairball blocks bullets. I probably am never going to actually end up using that effectively on purpose, but hey, it's good to know, right? What am I thinking there? That was just stupid on my part. That was stupid. Thank you. The other thing I like about Stompy is that you can actually destroy the poop in like a second. That was the worst damage of all time. Uh, you can actually destroy the poop in like a, well, not a second, just as soon as you walk over. It makes your life a lot easier, I think. Gotta be a little bit more careful with that situation right there. It's alright. Oh, wait. Could use some more uh, deal with the devil situations up here. I would very much welcome uh, anything that gave us a little extra damage. Thank God you're not telepills. 
I didn't want to have to go through this room again. Uh, to be honest with you, range down, I don't really care. It could bother me more. One of these days, one of these mushrooms is going to explode. So, you know what? I should probably be a little smarter and not uh, not play them yet. We'll play them maybe after we, we beat the boss. Because it, it's the kind of thing that actually could have a bit of a demonstrable impact on the run. If I end up losing my spirit heart, not getting a deal with the devil, maybe this deal with the devil has two guppy items in it on the cheap. You never know. Probably should have taken damage about five times there. Oh, all right. Well, let's do it all over again then. All righty. I'll, uh, I'll extinguish that fire. Don't worry about it. No. Uh, excuse me? You know what? This might actually be where I use my lemon mishap pill. Gertie is annoying enough to justify it, I think, if I could actually use it effectively. There we go. Not that Gertie is super annoying or anything like that, just, you know, a lot of HP. It would be nice to take it out sooner rather than later. And hopefully that still gives us a good deal with the Devil Chance. Ah! All stats up is a good start here. And then Gimpy, which again, you know, like on these challenges, my MO basically is take every single deal with the Devil as long as it's not total shit. Like if it's just, if it's Rotten Baby and I've got nothing else, whatever. But if it's Gimpy, eh, you know, normally I might not be super excited about it. Some people uh, are a little fonder of Gimpy than I am. I don't think it's very good, but I, uh, I'll still take it with me, you know? Relatively cheap. Uh, for potentially okay benefits. Is there a tinted rock in there? There's not. Um, should still step on the rocks, I guess. Oh my god, how many of these guys are we gonna have to deal with on this run? On this floor, more specifically, and more annoyingly. Well, I would feel really bad if we took a lot of damage on them, considering, uh, we did rooms like this with Cats Got Your Tongue, so I, I really have no excuse. I don't know what I'm trying here with Guppy's hairball. Just because you did Cat's Got Your Tongue, that doesn't mean you're good, Northern Lion. So if you could just stop like trying to use Guppy's hairball like you're some kind of expert with it, that would be preferable. I really doubt there's anything special on this room, but, you know, we're here. We might as well look for it. I didn't think that... I mean, something about this just screams second secret room to me. Alrighty then. Sometimes, uh, you know, you, it's pretty easy to be wrong. <laughs> Let's crush all these. I really doubt anything special will be here, but like that's the safe bed, right? I really doubt anything special will be in many of these rocks, but uh, all we have to do is get like one right and then we're good. Not gonna worry about a second secret room, not gonna worry about uh, trying to get enough money for this shop. We're just gonna head down to the next floor. Leo, all stats up. It's a pretty good floor for us. Gimpy, eh, it's okay. We can live with it. Now, it only shows us going to, uh, going to Mom. Honestly, if we only go to Mom on this one, I'm actually gonna be a little bit disappointed. Not, oh, look at me, I'm freaking big shot here. We only gonna go to Mom? I don't think so, forget about it. I don't know why I have to be, like, a very stereotypical and offensive portrayal of Italian there. But, uh, I guess that's, that's maybe, uh, complimented. You're like a tough guy. That's the nationality of tough mentality. But anyway. No. Um. I'm still gonna crush all these. I'm glad we got, uh, Liberty Cap, at least. And... I'm glad we got paralysis so we never have to see it again, and uh, tears upgrade. Um, but like, I think this might be a little bit too easy if you, uh... Well, this is not very good. I think this might be just a little bit too easy if you don't have to, oh, right, we still had to blow that up, okay. It's a little bit too easy if you don't have to go up to like mom's heart is what I'm trying to say here, and failing at miserably. Well, if we ever, uh, you know, want to replace Lemon Mishap, which would completely fly in the face of the uh, point of the challenge, we could. And, or if we did, I should say we'd have those batteries down there to do something effective with, hopefully. Well, that was terrible damage on my part. It's okay, though. Still got these black hearts backing me up. That's okay. Tears upgrade. We did, uh, we got two tears upgrades on, uh, since we've last, like, attacked an enemy, I think. Between Halo and the tears upgrade pill. You know, a slight damage increase as well. I don't really care if we become guppy on this run. It would, of course, it'd be nice. That was really dumb of me. It would always be nice. Gotta be careful. Remember, just because you can stomp all rocks doesn't mean you should stomp all rocks. That's a, a very important lesson in every uh, young Isaac player's life. You're all about coulda, not shoulda, to paraphrase Patton Oswalt. Now, enough money to actually make our shop worthwhile. That feels good. So I, I decided we're going to split the difference. 
try putting uh, Lemon Mishap up there between two enemies. What I've learned is never try to take chances with Lemon Mishap. Instead, just immediately go for the, the obvious kill. Okay. I am going to crush all these mushrooms. Um, you know, Liberty Cap, not super amazing, but... We can get uh, other mushroom items and other pills, and I would love to get a Lemon Mishap pill back, and, you know, if we get hurt, who cares, really? Because this is going pretty darn well so far. There we go. We got a bad gas pill, which doesn't really fit in with the context of the run, but that's okay. I'm assuming these guys don't take damage from Lemon Mishap, and that assumption has been validated, unfortunately. These guys aren't so bad. I say that in the hopes that the game will listen and be like, hey, maybe we're not so bad. We don't have to be total jerks. I hope we come across our uh, our boss room soon, because I really doubt that with the frequency of which I'm A, taking damage, and B, stepping on mushrooms, I really don't think we're going to be able to keep this black heart alive too much longer, so we'll see. Not super surprised to be fighting Greed. Oh, he sort of stepped on the fringes of the urine. Wow. That was not very smart, but I think we got a Spirit Heart. Uh, that, that was probably via Gimpy. I mean, that's, I guess, Gimpy's interesting value is that, you know, if, if you look at it just in terms of, like, the number of Spirit Hearts generated, it might not actually generate that many for you or that much for you, but, um, if just getting one Spirit Heart before, like, a boss room can be a big deal. Might be the difference between being able to get a deal with the Devil and not being able to get a deal with the Devil. So that's pretty much what I was hoping for here. Let's see if we can get it going again. Maybe one more time. Turns out Chad is, like, your ideal enemy to fight in a situation like that. Come on, deal with the devil. Come on, deal. No, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not even, not even salty about it. Where are we? Caves two. Got a long way to go on this run yet. We'll do a little bit of uh, exploration. I don't see why not. I'm really, I'm still salty. The the Suicide King episode went up today, and it's just that episode is such a total throw. Getting like the full. HP right before the Isaac fight, and then just launching like 12 Ipecac shots like right into the red candles fire in front of my face. Uh, I was very displeased. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that challenge again, hopefully redeeming myself. But man, I really think that, you know, we've gone through some of the tougher challenges on our first try. I'm just going to take it for now. I really think it was actually conceivable that we beat all the challenges without dying. So uh, to, to lose on one where we pretty much got carried to the last possible second and then, you know, threw it away. That, that hurts, man. I, I'll admit, by the way, I am having fun with these challenges, but I'm very much looking forward to them being over and getting back into the game. Um, you know, play, playing some normal runs, but uh, not that I'm not having fun with the challenges, just, uh, you know, to some extent, I kind of miss the the commentary of uh, of your standard Isaac run. You know, the yin and the yang, the, the ups and the downs, the ebbs and the flows, if you will. What's the good one? The ebbs or the flows? I never know. Anyway. Still no black markets for ourselves, unfortunately. I'm going to assume that next floor has a, uh, a pretty high percentage chance of a deal with the devil. If we are uh, able to get that, maybe a good shop item. You never know what kind of stuff we could have uh, going for us here. Some good stuff. 5 HP is a little bit lower than I'd like to be, but at the same time, I'm not overly perturbed by our existing situation. Necropolis. Uh, probably not worth it. This is why I like the left hand so much. If you're able to get the left hand, it makes, like, uh, the the mob gauntlet room so much nicer. Because, like, three red chests sometimes, or even one red chest, that could give us our, our guppy dream come true. Which is but, a you know, a fading star right now. I wouldn't expect our, uh, I wouldn't expect a high percentage chance of us actually making that guppy dream a reality here. Man, bad gas is kind of shitty, huh? Not just to, you know, make, like, the world's laziest wordplay, but, like, sincerely. I don't even think it killed that enemy. It might have killed him if I gave it a little bit more time, but I thought it would work a little bit faster than it actually did. Too bad we can't fly. I would love to crush all these skulls over here. This is really where we get into good territory. Um, the mushrooms, you know, they're, they're a little risk-rewardy. The skulls are pretty much just rewardy. I mean, you, there is a risk. There you go. Um, there is a risk, you know, that they could generate a turret, but who cares? The turrets are, like, some of the easiest enemies to kill in the whole game. And if you play your cards right, you end up getting uh, some black hearts or uh, even better, maybe some, uh, like, joker cards or something or other tarot cards out of the skulls. It's, like, a really easy value proposition to make, I think. All right, so should throw down a lemon mishap here. And inside of our shop, man, these are kind of shitty, huh? 
I'll buy the spirit heart. I'll buy the pill. I don't care. Is that it is lemon party? That's what I'm excited about. Um, might be people saying like, oh, take portable slot. Take portable slots better than lemon mishap. I don't necessarily agree. Could be interesting, but I've never been like that portable slot guy. You're either you know a portable slot blood bag or sorry portable slot IV bag uh, kind of guy, D20, etc. You know who you are. There's nothing wrong with it. Live it, love it. It's all good. Uh, or you're you're not one of those guys, and I'm very much not one of those guys. You know, I've never never broken the game. I play the I play to buy the book. Seriously though, dog, you should be dead. It's all right. I'll wait. We got a judgment card. A lover's card. Let's use our judgment card. I'm okay with this. I'm ready. We got a lover's card to back it up. Give me some good stuff here. That is... Uh, maybe acceptable. That is... Not so good. That is... Amazing. Maybe a little late in the game to be super useful, but I'll, I'll take it nonetheless. And, um... Sure, let's get back to full HP, and then I'm gonna use the hanged man, and I'm gonna come in here and crush all these skulls. Uh, why, why I thought the hangman was a pill is beyond me. Two extra tarot cards over here. Oh, wait. Don't worry about it. Any second now. I don't know why I got so large. That must be a, a liberty cap effect right now. Can't line up my shots at all. Devil. Stars. Okay. I don't think either of those do anything for us in this situation. So we'll take the devil card with us? What do we also have? The lemon party pill? I really like the lemon party pill. Like, I almost feel like I should take that just to be thematically appropriate with the run. But the devil card is better. Maybe. I, it depends on what kind of boss you're fighting. If you're fighting, like, that stationary boss fight against Gertie, I think lemon party was amazing there. But for now, we'll just play it, uh, we'll play it the way we've always played it. Which is that the devil card is a high value card that we'll hold on to until, you know, the moment of truth. Not doing so hot against these bonies, huh? Alrighty then. Starting to get a little nervous. Mostly just because I'm playing badly, but it is a, it's Necropolis, you know? Necropolis, it's no joke. Although I think it's, Necropolis might be proportionally easier in, in vanilla, or sorry, in, uh, in Rebirth than it was in vanilla. In vanilla, it could be like a run-ending moment sometimes. Not moment, I guess, but a run-ending floor. Whereas in this, it's just kind of, yeah, it's a little annoying, I guess. I've rarely noticed the difference, though. All right, so that takes us back to full HP. Uh, we have a curse room available at, at some point in the distant future. There we go. We'll just create a nice barrier for ourselves and wait for all the enemies to hit themselves. On my lemon mishap. Honey, did you leave a lemon mishap in your pants? Lemon mishap sounds like... Like a drink at a shitty club. You know, we got... Uh, we got uh, Boilermakers. We'll just blow this up right, right away. Um, and we got a destruction room, which destroys all the rocks. How lovely for us. Um, you know, we got uh, fuzzy golf carts. We got uh, Sunny D. We got uh, Swedish Fish and we got uh, Lemon Mishap. Lemon Mishap's uh, cheap tonight because we need to get rid of our Citron. I don't know what Citron is. <laughs> Isn't that, it's like a fuel or something. Creme de Curacao or something. Akira Creme de Curacao. Like Curacao, I make mad films. K, I I don't make films, but if I did, they'd have a samurai. It's a words to live by right there. Ooh, the guppy's paw. Okay. It's pretty good. I'm thinking about it. I'm th why don't we just like max out on uh, on guppy's paw? We can take it with us, but I, I am digging lemon mishap. Like, why don't we go that deep and just keep one HP left? And if we need to, we can always uh, like. Go, like get rid of this last HP because it would give us like permanent Polaroid invincibility But I might rather keep it just so we can get a, a deal with the devil that costs one red heart instead of three spirit hearts I'm assuming that this would help trigger that Can we have maybe like slightly less flying enemies by the way? Like I'm starting to think that this is a bit of a conspiracy My active items exclusively miss Flying enemies you're making this very problematic for me it's all right, easy enemies. This is still only uh, Necropolis One. It's been a pretty, 
slow going challenge run. Nobody likes the adversary. Not to mention, you know, I'm gonna use the devil card right here. Not to mention, he's another uh, flying enemy, which I am super not thrilled about. It's all right. I don't. I don't really mind. This is gonna be a very long fight, though. Prepare yourself. At least I didn't get hit by brimstone, because I had already taken damage recently. It's all right. I don't care. Throw some. Throw some more uh, bombs in there. Hurt myself with them for all I care, apparently. Yeah, okay, let's let's not lose like 12 spirit hearts here. That was kind of ridiculous. But we did get Cat of Nine Tails, which is nice. And the deal with the devil where we're gonna be able to pick up Brother Bobby. Yeehaw! Um, I would rather have three spirit hearts than Brother Bobby. So in fact, well, we might not need. If I just get one extra spirit heart, yeah, then I won't trade our spirit hearts away. Sure. We're, we're only one and a half below the HP cap. I don't think it's necessarily worth trading it away for this. Depths two. Can go to our boss trap. Okay, the guppy dream. The guppy dream is not gonna become a reality here, but that's okay. Another flying enemy. You never really realize how many flying enemies there are in the game until you're forced to rely on lemon mishap for most of your damage. Should have gone back for that lemon party pill, by the way. But I'm pretty sure, like, if, if this is the last floor on this run, we have won, or we will win. Uh, so I'm not really overly concerned about it. The only thing that could go terribly wrong is if we end up having to go fight Isaac. That was really terrible of me. If we have to fight Isaac, we're, we're a bit boned. Please fall on them. Yes, thank you. Not 100% boned, because we are only one... Uh, one guppy item away from, uh, you know, living the dream in that sense, but, uh... We'd be a little bit more boneable than I am right now. Which is not saying much, ladies. That is a lot of red hearts that I have absolutely no need for. The, the amount of flying enemies is actually for goddamn ridiculous. Is this what, the, like, that's what this run is? It's like, hey, we'll give you lemon mishap, but, uh, every enemy past the basement is gonna fly constantly. So, good luck, motherfucker. Yep, here's a, here's a drinky game for you if you want to uh, drink irresponsibly and probably die in the process, which I do not advocate, by the way. I'm not an advocate of death. Now, that is uh, double band gas. The drinky game would be take a shot every time we encounter a room that's exclusively flying enemies. So, in a rare turn of events, on that last room, you would not have consumed any alcohol. I want to make that exceptionally clear. Um, on every other room that we've encountered, except for this one, uh, you would end up uh, imbibing so much that you would likely perish. I should be crushing more rocks. I think I've been forgetting about the whole rock crushing ability here. I mean, okay, I think fanny pack's all right. I don't think it's very good, but I think it's okay. Sharp plug, whatever. Whatever. I've never really found a good use for sharp plug, I guess is what I you know, should be saying. It's not sharp plug's fault. It's just, I, I think I know what it does. When you pick up red hearts you don't need, it charges your battery or something like that? Or is it when you take damage it charges your battery? It's one of the two. I don't really care either way, it's not that good, but. I've, I've heard of some sweet synergies with it, I've just never happened to see them for myself, apparently. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Again, I, I really doubt we're gonna end up using our keys later, and we just doubled them anyway, so... Hard to be ornery about that situation. I'm very sorry for that, Larry Jr. Made my life super easy. We are at the HP cap again. I really hope the boss is over here, because there's not much else on this floor that could really uh, tempt and titillate me into into sticking around. Well, there's uh, some more HP for us. Could use Lemon Mishap, but we wouldn't have any penalty for it, but... Oh, two Lemon Party, okay. That's actually awesome. By the way, notice that after I proposed that sweet-ass drinking game, the game decided, hey, let's not give you exclusively flying rooms anymore. We'll give you mixed rooms, some flying enemies, some not. Anyway, lemon party, lemon mishap, mom time. I'd say that's a pretty good start. I'm waiting for the foot again, and then I'm gonna drop a fat lemon party. Come on. Come on. 
That's okay. Now we'll just stick around in this region. Try to goad the foot into coming after us. Yeah, I did get one body section in here as well. Man, that is not quite as much damage as I would have hoped for. What's up with the foot, man? You're not spawning anything. You got less feet than the Foot Clan, and half of the Foot Clan was composed of fucking, you know, droids and shit. Not in the movies, I guess, so much, but in, in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, yes. Alright, pop up. Pop up. I cheesed you. Pop out. There we go. It popped out a little bit. The cheesing is real. We're almost done here. We're probably done here, if I could just maybe get a couple more hits. And the trophy's there! Alright, that was not so bad. We got Card Against Humanity. Everyone's been talking about this card. I finally got it. Well, we'll be back. That one was really easy, actually. On our next run! Beans. Nick has been tweeting about this non-stop. I'm excited to see. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.